Hi, welcome back to Danny Harris Arts. As you can see, I've started working on the fins on this black crappie wood carving project. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So get the camera turned around here and get started. Okay, I've got all the fins cut out. And I think I've said this before. Our, uh, these are the pectoral fins and I leave them together. So it just, it makes it easier when I'm carving the um, carving it down these are the pelvic fans and again I leave them together and this will be the uh, top spiny and soft dorsal and that'll be the, the anal fin so I've already got the motion the animation drawn out on here the way I want the fins to move uh, you can see it on the back here uh, be a little straighter on the top of the spiny dorsal same on here we'll have just a little bit of movement here so i'm gonna get started here and i think i'm gonna start on the uh, the uh, dorsal fin first Always forget to wear a mask in this dust. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go just short of the line until I get all the way around about a quarter of an inch, then I'll start thinning it down. Okay, I got that down about as thin as I want to go right now. It's just kind of a rough out. You see it's got some good movement. I want to get the other ones close and then I'll switch bits and uh, I'll switch to a finer uh, bit and start smoothing them down and taking them down even thinner and then I'll, finally I'll sand them and start drawing the, the uh, actual spines in so let me get started on this one here now and let's see let's do the this is the uh, this was the dorsal fin and this will be the uh, anal fin So, let me get started on this one. Watch out, watch out this. 
I'll try to show a little closer, but watch how fast this course cuts off, takes this off. I am running this on a Fordham. You couldn't, I don't think, you couldn't run, well, Dremel doesn't make a collet a quarter inch, I don't think. And even if it did, it'd probably burn it up in no time. Uh, so you need something with a little torque to run these. They do make a smaller um, eighth inch shaft. I think I've got some here. Eighth inch shaft version of the ball nose. Let's see it. And that's a coarse as well. Now that'll that'll fit in a Dremel, but um, and it does a pretty good job. But to really hog it off, um, you need a good heavy duty uh, rotary tool. And no, I don't have a Fordham sponsor. I wish I did. <laughs>
Alright, I've got... I've got them down about as thin as I want to go before I start adding the rays in. Um, I may need to take this one, some of them down just a little bit thinner, but um, I'm going to start sanding them down now. And uh, cause that'll take them down a little bit more as I go. And then I can, I'll kind of look at them as I go. And then if I need to take some more down even farther with the, with the burr, I will. And shows you what a rookie I am again. Um, totally, and I noticed this a little while ago, picked the wrong grain on the fins. Um, the grain, if you can see it here, is running this way, and it should have been running this way. My dumb, explicit beat was not paying attention when I cut them out. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'll just have to be careful with them. And uh, what I'll probably do uh, is leave them a little thick and thin them out on the end. That'll give the illusion of a thin, of a thin uh, fin. And I, I curve these so that it kind of will lead your eye to where you can't see both sides at the same time. So, even though it's thicker than it should be, out here it's gonna be thin, so your eye will lead you around it. I'm, I'm, that was my goal anyway, was to, um, where I could leave it thicker and still have the appearance of a thin fin out here on the edge. That's one of the reasons for these videos is to because I'm no expert, I've said that before. You know, some of you know I've only been carving about three years, so this is I'm still making a lot of mistakes. So this is a good one you can learn from. <laughs> Watch the grain when you're cutting the fins. So um, anyway, I'm going to stop there for tonight and pick this back up tomorrow. Uh, Starting to get a little cold out here, and. Uh, see how it goes all right uh, working on the fins further this morning and I had a little goof up last night or yesterday and I had to start the dorsal fin all over um, because if I can see this or not I cut it too thin see how the light shines through it there and it's just it's just way too thin and if I try to uh, when I get ready to start carving the the ray detail in there it's gonna blow through it so I got up this morning and I started a new one and uh, made sure I was paying attention to it this time and I also <laughs> I just told you about the grain I cut up wrong with the grain this time I cut it right with a grain, so I got the grain running up and down, um, which will give it a little bit more strength. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting in the ray detail on these. So this is the anal fin. So what I'm, I've got it drawn on already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and cut out the spiny uh, part of the uh, fin and then start adding the rays in there.
I'm just using this little, this tip is a carbide, a thin carbide cutter, steel cutter. It works great on wood here. Now change out the tip for this little stone, this little ruby cutter. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna go in between the spines here, start thinning it down in between the spines, and that'll leave a ridge for the spines. I've got this line right here. This is my tab that'll go into the fish. But I'm gonna go down through the tab so that the spines don't stop above the body somewhere. if you can see this but I've got this real thin flat diamond disc here and I'm just going back and forth and I'm putting the splits of the end of the rays in with it up on camera or not. burn these in but the burning tip left too fine a slit and it was hard to get paint in sometimes uh, this this looks a little more natural to me I don't know if you can see that I'll try to get it pretty closer here I'm gonna do the rest of them here and then uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, I've got, um, I've got all my fins shaped and detail carved in them. I didn't uh, show a lot of that on camera just because it's so long and boring and tedious. Um, but, I've, uh, some of my other videos 
have I have show how I do that. And what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the tab down and I'm going getting ready to cut a slot here for this to accept that tab. And I'm just gonna do it a little bit at a time. So I've got the center line drawn. Make sure it's right on top. Then I've got this little round, it's like an eighth inch, uh, kind of a medium wheel. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time here. So I get the depth I want. do this several times to get it to where it fits. So I'll do this one, I'll do the same on the bottom for the anal fin, and then I need to mark where my pectoral fins and my pelvic fins go. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm working on fitting the fins to the body. I've already got this side done mostly. And uh, this pelvic fan is going to kind of lay back a little bit on his body. And this one I want to stick out a little bit more. So, uh, and I've got it marked. So I just need to dig this, carve this hole out to fit the tab that I've made here. So I've got it started. Just need to make it bigger. Just need to do it a little bit at a time so you don't so I don't get too big. I've already kind of messed that side up, but I, I'm gonna build that up with epoxy sculpt anyway to build the muscle there. I'm just doing it a little bit at a time, test fitting it, seeing where I need to clean. I can see it needs to be a little bit bigger, so. So I'm taking a little bit off the fin now. 
So I'm doing a little bit of fit and finish on both sides. And something I didn't show is I had these attached, if you remember, in the uh, the beginning, and then I just took them on a bandsaw and cut in half, and which I didn't show that. But. And there's a. I don't have any on the reference photo, but I've got some. There's a little muscle behind this that creates a little indention here. So I'm gonna kind of create that here. Because I think since this one's gonna be sticking out a little bit more, That'll be visible back there. So I'm gonna create that little pocket joint. It's almost like a joint. I'm using a little diamond bit instead of that carbide burr to uh, create this little joint here. It doesn't cut as bad, it doesn't cut as quick. Most people probably wouldn't see that or notice it, but this is going, this one turns out like I hope it does. This will be in the next competition, so a judge will see that, so. Might earn me an extra point. <laughs> Yeah, it looks better. All right, so I wanna work on the pelvic bands now. What I'm doing now is I made I made the hole as deep as I wanted on there. With my little round bit here. That's so why I'm making the tab just a little bit shorter. Getting closer. Okay, that's going to do it for part two of the black crappie wood carving project. Uh, in this segment, I did the fins, and as you can see, I've got them mounted here, but they're just temporary. I got a little dab of super glue holding them in place just so you can kind of see the positioning of them. I, I will be taking them off to uh, finish work on the body. Uh, I am going to cut the head off and detail the inside of the mouth. I kind of kicked around the idea of doing it and not doing it, but this is going to be a showpiece, so I want it to be uh, for competition, so I want it to be as much detail in it as I can. So um, 
it took I didn't do everything I didn't show everything on camera just because it took me so long to do it I'm right at about 25 hours on this so and there so I can't show it all but if you have any questions about it you can leave them for me in the comment section and I'll answer as best I can and I apologize for the rain I'm it started raining on me here a little while ago um, but anyway one of the things I want to also talk about real quick is and I mentioned in the last video is I partnered with uh, Bear Woods Supply Company and uh, they sell all kinds of wood carving supplies and they sell the cuts all bits that I use and I got some new ones in today I'm excited about um, this is a ball nose fine and it's a flame bird fine and that's and you've seen me use that one that's a extra course uh, but they got a whole line of cuts all bits and uh, as well as others and they also sell marathon high speed micro motors for carving and cold wood burners and they just they got a whole line of, of, of products you need to go check out uh, it's, you can check them out at bearwoods.com and if you decide you want to make any purchase if you'll use my name Danny as a promo code you'll get 5% off all your purchases uh, that helps me out also but anyway if you like the videos please give me a thumbs up if you haven't please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on part three